Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video we are going to understand real-time troubleshooting. See, I have two switch, switch 1 and switch 2. In my rack, I have connected switch 1 and switch 2 together with four links. 0 slash 19 to 0 slash 22. Router 1 is connected with switch 1. Router 2 is connected with switch 2. Here I am running this IP address. Here I am running this IP address. Same IP address. This interface belongs to VLAN 1. This interface belongs to VLAN 1. Right? There are by default VLAN. I have not configured any VLAN. What configuration I did here? I have bundle these all link together right here we have one logical link p1 here i have logical link p2 on p1 and p2 suppose here also p1 on this logical link i am running stp which stp i am running rstp rapid spanning tree protocol fine but problem is router 1 is not able to ping router 2 or router 2 is not able to ping router 1 so what will be the troubleshooting step how you will troubleshoot maybe there is problem with ether channel maybe there is problem with rstp right or maybe something else okay so let me show you first of all i have access of router one dot router two switch one and switch two here you can see i have access of my router this is my router one here let me show you the ip configuration so ip interface brief you can see on f0 slash zero i am running this ip address right line protocol and, and status both are up in the same way on router 2 also if you want to verify ip you can verify so ip interface brief exclude and assign fine here you can see on switch this is my switch one here you can check so spanning tree summary right by running this command you can check which type of spanning tree i am running over here rapid pvst mode right rapid per vlan spanning tree protocol is running on switch one and on switch two also so a spanning tree summary here you can see i am running what rstp protocol okay and if you will run so a spanning tree command on switch one so a spanning tree you can see a spanning tree is running on two link right on this link and on this logical link this is port channel this is the link this is the port where i have connected my router one and this is the port channel one between switch one and switch two okay on the router number two also you can verify so a spanning tree i am running r s r p v s t on channel group and on physical interface which is connected with my router now if you will check from router i am not able to ping 10.1.1.2 from here okay ping is not working so now i need to troubleshoot it that why ping is not working between router 1 and router 2 so guys first of all as you are able to see here i am running our pvst over here and we have one port channel so first of all i will check the protocol of this port channel is up or not how we can check it so interface p1 port channel 1 so you are able to see here port channel 1 is up line protocol is also up it's showing you connected fine on switch number 2 also so interface p1 okay port channel is one port channel one is up protocol is also up it's connected right so everything is fine port channel status is up here you can see mode is full duplex okay now the next thing that you need to check over here is how many interfaces are there in port channel one for that what command you will run so ether channel summary and you can see in port channel 1 we have four ports 0 slash 90 to 0 slash 20 let me do same thing on switch number 2 also so ether channel summary okay here also it's fine yes or no yes so next thing that you will check is so ether channel you know if you will put question mark you can see here 
you can run command protocol this is real devices right so that's why you are getting these all option right on packet tracer you will not get, uh, get this this all option right so let me check protocol that which protocols i am running on switch one okay on mode right that means a static ether channel on switch number two also definitely i am using on mode that's why port channel is up so ether channel protocol here also you can see more on mode right now next thing is so ether channel detailed right or anything else let me check here yes you can define the channel group number as well directly here let me check run this command put question mark and here also you can use detailed command if you want to check the detailed information of channel group one okay or if you have only one channel group so directly you can run like it so it's a channel detail command here okay now see we are very carefully group number one okay group state is l2 max port is eight and how many ports are there now four okay port channel one max port channel is equal to one okay fine zero slash 19 so zero slash 19 post port status is up okay channel group member is one mode is on okay port channel group is one fine protocol is on okay 22 is also looking fine 21 is also looking fine right 22 is also looking fine yes or no yeah here everything is looking perfect this since last bundle okay fine let me do same thing on switch number two so ether channel detailed here also port number 19 is also looking fine group channel is okay perfect port number 20 is also fine there is no any problem right there is no any problem on 0 slash 90 port yes i am able to see some problem over here problem reason are you able to see problem reason trunk mode of 0 slash 19 is access and 0 slash 19 is sorry 0 slash 21 is access and 0 slash 19 is you know dynamic okay so this is the problem here is problem right on switch number one also let me verify that this problem is showing there or not on switch number one on 0 slash 21 where is 0 slash 21 port here it is no here it's not showing me any error yes but on switch number two i am able to see the problem reason problem reason is what trunk mode of 0 slash 21 is access and 0 slash 19 is what dynamic so this is the problem yes or no let me check trunk here so interface trunk there is no any trunk let me run this command on switch number one as well so interface trunk so interface trunk okay but there is problem with which port 0 slash 19 and 0 slash 21 so let me check manually both ports status interface so interface f 0 slash 19 and here I need to put switch port as well say switch port okay administrative mode is what dynamic auto fine let me check which one 21 this one is by default right on 21 yes here you can see it is static access as you know to ether to uh, form ether channel administrative mode must match right but here you can see it's mismatch on switch number one also let me verify it so 
interface F0/19 switch port. Here it is dynamic auto, okay. And on 0/21, it is dynamic desirable, okay. So what I need to do here, I need to configure it as dynamic auto, or I can configure what dynamic auto on switch number two on F0/19. We have two options to fix it, right? What is happening? What is the problem? Problem is very simple. This port is configured as this port is configured as dynamic desirable, and this port is configured as a static access. So either I can configure both interface, this interface and this interface as static auto, or we can configure both as dynamic. Dy dynamic desirable is here that means dynamic auto can we can configure dynamic auto so that this link will become what trunk okay now what I am going to do I am going to fix it so let me take you on switch number one again here and on switch number one go to interface f0 slash 21 here I need to tell switch port mode dynamic auto is default let me do same thing on switch number two as well config t interface f 0 slash 21 say switch port mode dynamic auto got it now if you will run commands so ether channel detail so ether channel detail now in on here 21 now you can see I am not getting any message over here right so now problem resolved let me check a status of port channel again so interface so interface P1 yeah protocol is up and a status is also up here on switch 1 also I can verify it so interface P1 are you able to see protocol is also up and the status is also up now let me check that PCs are uh, routers are able to ping or not ping 10.1.1.2 now you can see it's working right so problem was with dynamic auto and dynamic access configuration okay so this this was the troubleshooting as tape if you you will get problem right suppose if you are a network engineer and uh, between switches you have engineer have configured ether channel but communication is not happening because sometime due to high CPU utilization automatically your protocol will erased from the router or switches right so these are the troubleshooting step guys you should follow to troubleshoot right but always keep in mind if you want to troubleshoot the network you have to learn theory part plus practical part then only you can troubleshoot and if you want to improve your troubleshooting skill I am starting a fresh batch of CCNA 200301 from 10th of March if you will enroll for the for the training right what you will get you will learn each and every topics of CCNA plus CCNP both right guys this <laughs> name of this uh, batch is ccn 300301 but here i have put some topic of ccnp as well right means this is a customized training this customized training will make you perfect for network tool shooting right and it will help you to get ccna certified to get ccnp certified right to get job in top mnc company right to grow your professional life to hike your salary right and if you are fresher and if you are thinking that my resume is not getting shortlisted definitely after with the with this training definitely you will get get benefit right uh, your resume will easily selected in top MNC company right so that's why I am promising a remarkable improvement in technical skill so if you are interested please enroll yourself we have only few seats left right but I am damn sure if you will enroll then at the last after 45 days 
you will be able to see a remarkable improvement in your technical skill suppose now your technical skill is here right so and companies are looking for engineer who who is here right companies are looking for engineer who have knowledge of this level right but this training will take you here right so if you want job in this company <laughs> without interview you can consider right like like there is no any interview easily you can apply in a company and definitely you will get job but definitely there is some right you you know some term and condition term and condition is like you have to attend at least 90% live session because my responsibility is to make you understand to teach you but to learning it is your responsibility my responsibility is to put you in the front of interviewer right but how to crack it it's your responsibility yes or no so okay that's all for today guys if you like this video if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button and uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye